Okay, what accent are you gonna have? Normal. Okay, I'll be normal too. For once. <laughs> no, that, that, that's weird. That's more weird than being normal. Why do you ever. I would just be really enthusiastic about it. Like, oh my gosh, I really loved that movie. You know? It was so good. I should be really just depressed. You know, it was boring when we were that. Oh yeah, that was... That was funny. It was like Howard Mules. <laughs> Actually, I liked Howard Mules. Howard Mules? I love Howard Mules. Okay, let's just be our normal selves, but a little more animated. No! On a weird fanboy type thing. <laughs> Comic Con 2020! No! Just from Nothing Films. I'm James Hayes, and we're the Hayes side of Nothing Films. We really love making these movies, so we're excited to share them with you. From 1 to 33, here are our movies, ranked by the very people who made them. Let's get into it. Number 1 The Outlaws Alliance. Such a classic. Yeah, I. I thought it was very interesting. I feel like there wasn't enough um, Aussie Black in it, you know? Ah, he came in halfway through the movie, so it's kind of threw you off a bit. Yeah. I, the thing about that movie I liked was um, the the characters. There was there were some cool like changes and apps, and like Blake turned out to be a stupid nobody, and Don turned out to be really cool and powerful. Madison and Ozzy, it all came down to them. It's a classic. Can you tell us why you liked it? I liked it because Ozzy Black, of course, he was the coolest. I feel like Blake and Don, they were just kind of nerds. They were there for comical relief. When Don died, it was just kind of funny. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, totes right. Now, before we continue on with our talking, let's have some snacking, eh? As usually Augustus and Waldo do, uh, we're trying to imitate that. So here we have a loaf of French bread. And this is um, pink lemonade, lemonade mix, crystal water. Very delicious. It's super sour and we're going to put a whole pack on this bread. In little increments, as we go. Like salsa on a burrito. Okay. Next up is, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Too fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick break. Keep going. Next up on the list. Oh my gosh. Next up on the list, we've got Mohawk, which honestly is um, my favorite uh, character to ever play. As you know, I am a <laughs> I am a director. But I'm also a cast member, and playing plain hair was so stinking fun. The thing about Mohawk is the fe- <laughs> <laughs> It's so bad! Oh. oh my gosh! The thing about Mohawk is the feel of it, I think is what I'm trying to get at here. There's humor, definitely, and there's seriosity. Now, the intention of the film was to sort of make a very... <laughs> a very, um, secret agent serious movie. But we as a people were so weird. As you may have noticed, our movies aren't exactly normal. So, um, making Mohawk was so fun because it... it Devolves almost into a sort of game. A real good one. What about you? What did you think about Mohawk? I really like that movie. Again, I feel like some characters were just displaced in their personal feelings. Mm, how so? Like Agent Bell, she didn't want as much violence in this movie. I agree. I kind of gave it to her. Yeah. Um, well, how did you feel about playing Raven? Was he your favorite? Eh. He was pretty good. Um. 
I feel like he needed a little bit more um, uh, time to rethink what he had done. Mm. They didn't give him much of a chance. And oh, I feel like it really needed more of a chance, you know? I dare you to bite this. Oh, you bit it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to add a little bit more pink lemonade. Okay, I'll just keep talking. So, I feel like in that movie, um, it was a lot different than what we've done before. And it was actually a nice new experience, like you explained. Um, what about Siege of California, the number three on our list? Do you say that's your favorite film? Why that's is, why one is that? of the best movies that No Theme Films has made because I directed it. And um, it was really creative using these high-tech weapons that um, we ordered off of Amazon. Um, and I feel like we really immersed in some new characters, and it started off with new characters, and it just worked. Hey, um, the thing I liked about Siege of California is, like James said, it was just a breath of fresh air. This sort of, like, techy, interesting movie, and then there were so many different ideas going into it. And originally it started just you... Calvin and James did it and making this movie on their own, as you can see in the beginning. But then it morphed into a sort of collaboration because Ernie Magpie, my own character that I kind of kind of stole the show with, I tend to do that. Um, and then there were the girls and uh, Kamala Harris. Oh, Juki Bar! It was just a real shooter. Now, uh, next on the list we've got Johnny Beans. What about Johnny Beans? You know, I really like that movie. I feel like it was too funny. They needed some serious points. Agreed. Too much ad-libbing. It It was supposed to be 20 minutes instead it's 40. Absolutely. And um, what about Pat Pitt? Did you like Jolly Winger? I liked Jolly... I mean, he wasn't that fun to act. He, he was serious but weird at the same time. And I don't like being both of those because then it just spooks you guys out. And I just hate it. Totally. And we just add a little more spruce to our... And then we've got the Bob Wibisaurus. Now, um, we collaborated on this list, so this represents a sharing of uh, opinions and feelings. Um, Bob Wibisaurus, I liked it. So, originally what we were going to do is we were going to make a series of Nantian Films documentaries. We started with a giant creek spider, not well known at all, and... Yeah. Um, and then Bob of Swords, which was enormously funny, and that was what's so good about it. Augustus and Walter, they crack it up. It's it's great. Um, and it's just, it's a novelty. You know? What do you think? Yeah, I think um, the Bob of Swords, its death was a little too sudden. Mm. In my feeling. I feel like Maybe, um, he should have, uh, raised a family and became a businessman working in a cubicle. You know? And we got to see more sides of his character. Yeah. Totally agree. Alright. Put him in a little suit and tie. Make him look snazzy. <laughs> we can sell merchandise. That was great. Um, next we've got... No. Oh. Next we've got The Secret of the Silver Ore, our first movie. I loved it. Um, I am always a fan of The Unexpected. Check out Roald Dahl's Tale of the Unexpected, a real classic. I like it when it takes a sudden weird turn. And Secret of the Silver Lord, the essence of it is just weird turns. So, it's one of my favorites. It launched everything, built great characters by accident. Um, a huge success. What about you? What do you like about Secret of the Silver Lord? That bread is really bad. Oh my I kind of like it. What do you think about... Oh my flocking poo. It was just, oh my gosh, with the bread. It feels like somebody put garlic and onions and lemonade and poo in a piece of bread. But I like it. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, Secret of the Silver Art. There's a lot of plot twists in there. I really appreciate that. I feel like maybe they could have delved in a little bit more, added one or two more scenes, you know? What, what kind of scenes would you suggest? Um, just like a scene of the journey while they go to Ore Mountain, mm. or um, some more development in the bar. Maybe a few guys playing poker. Mm. Maybe a few shootouts, you know. Mm. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, next up, we have got Tank. These are all airs of the movies. I love Tank. 
Because it was one man taking her hair away. You know that... You're not gay, are you? He Ow. dies! <laughs> he dies in the end! How sad is that? Yet we get so captivated in who he is and, and, and what he's doing. It's just... Oh my gosh. Tank. I feel like it was good. I feel like jam was a little too excessive in the end. Sorry, Blue. The jam. The gym. You just talk like me or you trying to imitate me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like my Western accent is I'm sorry. joking about? Yeah, it's kind of stupid. You were saying that... Oh! You were saying the gym. Yeah, it was a little too excessive. What do you mean the gym? The jam. When he gets shot in the end. Oh, I think that's ketchup. <laughs> ketchup jam. Okay. Potato mixture. I don't care. Um. Uh, what do we got next?